everyone, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Happy Valentine's Day! Whether you're in a relationship or happily single, celebrate this day however way you want. But remember, stay safe. If you go out, wear a mask because the pandemic is still a thing. But if you're spending the holiday at home and you need a movie recommendation, sit back, enjoy a piece of chocolate, and enjoy this review of Netflix's Holidate. Holidate is a 2020 Netflix film. Having never had luck with relationships, Sloane and Jackson agree to have a platonic relationship as they meet up for every holiday during the year. Slowly, they find a genuine attraction. Will they go after it or deny the feelings? While Holiday has not received the best reviews among audiences, I have actually watched it twice on Netflix. I found it really funny and I was actually howling in laughter both times I watched it. While the humor is not for all audiences, the movie distributes a message that you have to give love a chance. Emma Roberts and Luke Bracey share the best on-screen chemistry that I have not seen in a while. They are the core of the film. They are sarcastic, share secrets, comfort each other, and have arguments. You know you're good friends with someone when you can make dirty jokes. Grasping their characters, Sloan and Jackson open up to love. I am very impressed with Emma Roberts. She has come a long way since her television series Unfabulous. Sloan is a complex person. Fighting for people to understand her opinions, Sloan makes a valid point that people specifically women, don't have to go along with societal norms. Roberts does an incredible job with her inward emotional battle. Luke Bracey does the same. I have never seen Bracey in any other films aside from Holiday. I look forward to finding him in more media. Jackson is a sweetheart. He helps Sloane in more ways than one. People come into our lives for a reason. Holiday includes several memorable characters. Viewers may recognize Frances Fisher from Titanic. Like her character in Titanic, she embodies a similar personality trying to force her daughter into relationships. Kristen Chenoweth lights up the screen with her cheery personality. Other credits include Savannah Batchelor, Jessica Capshaw, Manish Dial, Alex Moffett, Cynthia Wu, Jack Manley, and Savannah Reyna. This is a character film. I like how the cast studied their roles, each having a different conflict with love. It added layers. The approach to Holiday reminded me of the film Before Sunrise. Writers did a great job with the dialogue. That's what kept me intrigued in the film. It is relatable. Jackson and Sloan have an assortment of different conversations. Conversations are fun because one can go through a variety of topics in so little time. And it is also a way to find out secrets. Creatively, the film dealt in to all the holidays. New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, and a very <laughs> hectic Halloween. <laughs> no, that's, okay, that scene was my favorite and I, it was the funniest. See, now you have to find out why. <laughs> there are some holidays that one would never think of. The film is full of surprises. I always wondered which holiday they were going to do next as the film went on. John Whitesell excelled in the story, characters, but mostly the humor. Holiday knows its humor. The humor is raunchy, so it may not be for all audiences. Some of the jokes included sexual jokes, drugs, and language. Despite some unnecessary and crude jokes, I still enjoyed the film. It made me laugh. Aside from the comedy, the film did a great job with the portrayal of the moral. Give love a chance. And don't be disrespectful about other people's opinions. We all want our own thing in life, whether to be in a relationship or if we want to be alone. As I said, the raunchy humor may not be for everybody. It's still a good film to watch with your friends. Give the film a chance. Happy Valentine's Day, and I hope you enjoyed this movie review. Subscribe to my Patreon, have a safe holiday, and enjoy Holiday. I will be back next week with a review of one of the Golden Globe nominations. 
to give you a hint, it is a dance hopping film. So until next time, my name is Marielle and this has been another one of my movie reviews.